Monaco are currently lighting up Liga and the Champions League. Passing Borussia Dortmund in the quarters, the club has since achieved a semi-final berth in Europe's premier club competition for the first time since 2004. Leonardo Jardim has developed his team remarkably since taking over in 2014. After heavy investment, Monaco realised that the burdens of financial fair play meant that they needed to concentrate on developing young talent more than big money acquisitions. This year, that strategy has blossomed. They are quick, well-drilled, balanced and possess scintillating attacking options. Monaco use a version of the 4-4-2 in Liga and in most Champions League games, although they do sometimes use a variant, a 4-2-3-1. This 4-4-2 though is very aggressively deployed, resembling a 2-4-4 when Monaco attack. The fullbacks push very high, especially Jibril Sidibe on the right, and ahead of him, Bernardo Silva cuts inside. Thomas Lamar is more of an orthodox winger, but Mendy pushes up behind him on the overlap as well. Camille Glick and Jemison push up in defence with Fabinho dropping to assist, while Bakayoko is the team's engine, the quintessential box-to-box -box dynamo. Fabinho is also crucial to the team's ability to maintain defensive shape despite such an aggressive posture. The Brazilian played at first as a right-back, and he often drops into the space vacated by Sidibe on the right if Monaco face a counter-attack. Otherwise, Monaco defend in quite a familiar way, good shape from two banks of four, high pressing throughout the side, and as narrowly as possible. Monaco's central four centre-backs and central midfielders are content to recycle possession among themselves, all comfortable on the ball, with Fabinho again dropping in if required. They wait for the fullbacks to free themselves of markers before playing dynamic, angled passes into the overlapping runs. Up front, two of Falcao, Mbappe and Germain play as strikers, with Germain adept at dropping into space to hold up the ball, Falcao more predatory and less creative, and Mbappe a striker in the Thierry Henry mold, who pops up wherever he fancies to devastating effect. Behind the two strikers, creativity and goals come from everywhere, but Lamar and Silva stand out. Monaco's advanced fullbacks give the team a four across midfield, but with four ahead of them. This means that Silva and Lamar can cut inside or go wide with cover and the potential to create overloads in the half space or the wide space. Monaco build centrally, but like to attack wide. If they find the wide space blocked, they are adept at switching the play rapidly through the two central midfielders out to the opposite flank, again possible because the fullbacks are so high. The overlapping fullbacks also draw defenders, which means that a late arriving midfielder, such as Bakayoko or Silva drifting inwards, find space within the box, especially if the centre forwards drift towards the other flank. One last thing should be said about this Monaco side, less tactical and more statistical. Monaco are hot, fiery hot right now. In Liga, they are scoring 2.8 goals per game, from 13.9 shots per game, a conversion rate of 20.1%. Bearing in mind that an average team in an average season converts around 9-10%, to Monaco are outperforming what you'd expect at an extraordinary rate. Indeed, as a recent Stats Bomb article pointed out, they are second in the top 10 performing teams for shot conversion in Europe's Big Five leagues since 2010-11 a list that is dominated by Barcelona and Real Madrid and includes PSG last season with a resplendent Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Bayern in 2012-13. Monaco take a huge proportion of shots from close and centrally, but even that doesn't account for this shot conversion. While we've shown you how they create chance as well and attack with verve and precision, Monaco cannot sustain this rate of scoring. They might, however, sustain it just long enough to win big this year and as Europe's most exciting attacking side, you couldn't begrudge them that.